Yo guys, in this video I want to show you how I cut my hair. Um, I drew from bald to one and a half. There's uh, some stuff that I use. First of all, I use the wall trimming machine. It has the size half a millimeter, one and one and a half. And of course you can remove the, the sizes and then it's just millimetering, but still there's hair on it. And I also use that one. So you need this device. More information will be in the product description. Then I use the shaving machine, which you will see in the in the movie how I do it, and I use a razor. The razor. So uh, let's get right to it, and you will see how I do it. So I actually start by uh, using the wall string machine to. Um, slowly make the first line so this is without clippers on it and I just make a line and I shave it a little bit down so that's the technique so you, you press the clipping machine against your head and then you move it down and then if you do it a couple of times moving backwards or forward then you grab you to make a line so I do my whole head um, creating this, this line and, uh, and then when, when I have, when, even in the back, I try to, uh, you know, just <clears throat> looking in the mirror, just visualizing where the, where the head of the Christmas will be, and then, I will, like, when the light is complete, I just shave the rest of the side off. Eventually, we're gonna go even shorter, but this is the shortest on the clipping machine, so I just do a two thing with this. And I just start at the bottom, and, uh, we just move up slowly to do, uh, to do uh, all parts of it. You just shake it away slowly. Just really taking your time. And, uh, if I'm not missing out on anything, you know, because it's all with the, with the hair cutter for a head, the head dresser, then uh, it takes me like almost like an hour with editing everything. So I feel like. Uh, you know, if you do it, if you take 10 to 20 minutes for this, it's, it's, it's still fast. And then after that, you can, uh, you know, take a shower and you have to shower. You can use a shave, you know, your beard or, and also, you know, you can do all stuff to brush your teeth. So it's just, you know, it's just part of, you know, brushing your teeth and stuff. So I just like to take, now I take the time for it. Just go, go through all the details on the back slowly just trying to uh, you know uh, get through all the parts as much as I can I can't get through all the parts but eventually I also use uh, the shaping machine for, for this part so you're gonna shake everything with the cleaning machine until until the part where there's a line and after do what I do when I created the line, I just try to feel with my finger where the line is a bit or at the back of my head I have, a, you know, my skull is sticking a bit out. I use it as a reference point. So if you get to know your, the back side of your head, you, you know uh, which, which parts, you know, where to stop. So, so I, I just do it on feeling. In, in the past, I, uh, I tried using a cap putting a cap on my head or something else and then shaping it until that point or doing something like that. But essentially, you know, um, it, 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 it's not it's not that better. I mean, if I do it uh, on hand a couple of times, uh, it's good. It's so easy. So, I'm almost done now. Right, final check. Do I look good? I'm such a bitch taking all the time in the world. Look at me. Okay, so. So now we're moving to one and a half millimeters. And I'm going to shave uh, everything off. 
Bob the line everything, the whole head, we're gonna shave one and a half. And X3, that's it, it's not it. When I press harder, I know the machine is, uh, you know, making it a little bit shorter. So I maybe do that on the front or close to the line, to the line, where I'm gonna, where we're gonna create the flow essentially. The flow is to uh, the one and a half. And then so pick the sides and then it goes to the back. Yeah, and on, on, on the back of my head, I also have, but sometimes I feel like the head, you know, I feel like the, the head grows in different directions. And then you have to get the right angle to, uh, to get the head off there. So that's why I use my, uh, get my hands in my, in my, in my arms with, with the rest. And it's quite a feel where yeah, I miss out of the spot. I feel like I don't want to use a mirror because it just takes too long getting a mirror and checking in the mirror all the time. So, uh, I'm not a professional, I'll just do it on my, on my own feeling. Uh, just take some time. I mean, it already takes a lot of time, like I said, not going to the head dress or you can shower and stuff with the thing. You can do whatever you want. So I have a lot of advantages to it. So when I do this, I just take the time to go over and over the same place. Um, no, no, just be sure. Because you can't make any mistakes when you put the machine on one of them. So now we are moving to uh, one, the in-between, so now we're going to start with the fading. So uh, we're just going to start spinning uh, from the line upwards to where I want, like, just not, not to really end it, but, you know, that's the part where it essentially goes to the top of my head to one and a half, so... Um, I'm just gonna just do a big part because in this fading of one millimeter, I, um, there's also a part half of it is gonna be a half. So that's the part from you know from the zero part where I started, and then I'm gonna shape upwards to make the fading. So this is the biggest part, like almost two centimeters. So I want this part to be. What I do is just high. I just shape it up high enough so that you don't see the line from the one and a half going to one. Trying to, you know, like really on the top of my head. That's just why I find it the most easy to make the, the fading. And this is what I like the most. So um, that's it. So this is uh, actually fairly easy. So now we're going to uh, a half, half millimeter, I don't know, actually, that's the half size, it's the shortest clip, and now it's like the bottom, so I'm going to try to uh, fade away the line, so I'll really focus on this line, I'm not going all the way to the top, of course, just uh, half what I did before, so it just creates the fading, so I'll just uh, go all around my head, And uh, on the other side as well. It's really pressing hard on the part where the line is. So the harder you press, like I told you before, um, the shorter it stays. So then I can really erase the line and make it. Uh, Okay, the way you can see it already starts to look way better. And uh, then I have this trick to 
to kill this show in a couple of minutes. Like now I'm pressing really hard on the line. And she really tried to get, get, get the line away. You can see that the line is already fading away. It's already working, but it's, you can see it's still there a little. So, uh, this little trick, what I figured out with the wall, of course, with all the machines, it also works. Is when you, like you did in the beginning, you just turn the wall machine and touch, like, as if you make a line, and then you start shaping it ahead of it. And that's, that's the line you can, you can go a little bit sh uh, shorter. So when I do this on the line now, I can really fade the line away and make this slow scene. That's what it really, you know, that's all, that's what really makes a uh, big difference. Uh, being yourself really looking professional. And this is where we're going to do the final detailing, just removing all the clips. Uh, with the wall machine you can just make the lines and remove the longer hair so it's just stick a little bit out of the skin. You can really shape, draw the line and just remove it. And I'm just using uh, size millimeter one to just finalize this, this go again over the fading with size one instead of a half and just press on the parts which I feel are not that fluent to just, uh, you know, to just really uh, make the fading better. Just really rub it in. Really helps if you get it. <laughs> Actually, you find it like getting better and better, it's, 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 it's actually really easy, but you know, you just have to try it, and then it actually really, really works. That's it. Almost. So, then we go to this. Right, so now we're getting to the shaving machine. And that's also the cool trick is that when, this is even a little bit, I mean, this is almost bald, but not as bald as with a uh, razor blade. So, um, you know, you can really just shave from the bottom up with, uh, with, 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 uh, with, the, with, with the shaving machine. Uh, on my feeling, just, just going over what I shave with the ball with no uh, clips on it. Uh, I shave uh, from the bottom pretty high because I like everything to be actually really bald. Just having a little bit of hair in the part of the uh, is in, uh, in the fading. And um, you can see my face as if, as if it hurts, but it doesn't hurt. Oh. Actually, this is the funniest, this is the That's most fun it. part, at least the, the easiest part. You can do anything wrong. That's it. You don't have any issues with, uh, with the lining, with the, you know, with the bottom bit. of the head, you know, around your ears. You can just shave and just shave it away. Yeah, so I'm on another side just to do the final touch with the, the, the clip of half millimeter, the shortest clip. Just pressing it again hard, just seeing if I didn't miss out on anything. After that, I shared it with the whole, you see the whole flow. And then, uh, you know, just going, uh, you know, then, you know, like I told you guys, if you really want to see the line is kind of pressed out, you just have to use the head of the trimming machine and press it on the line hard and then shave. And uh, that really cuts out the line. Uh, it's just a really simple technique. And what I didn't show in this video is what I what I did afterwards. It's just I did a little bit of shaping uh, gel on the bottom of, really on the bottom, on the lowest part, to just where uh, to just do a little bit of shaping in the neck and around the ears and stuff. But uh, I mean, you can imagine that's really simple. You do just a little bit of. Uh, shaving cream on the bottom, uh, on the lowest part of the head, you know, around the ears and the, and the back of the neck, 
and you just shape it a little bit up because you already went over it with a shaping machine. And just to do, to just to be sure there's no hairs left, I like to do a little bit of shaping. So uh, you can see that I'm here like finalizing and getting close to the end and then, you know, mostly when I'm done, uh, I'll just go take a shower and uh, right. and it's over, you know, then uh, clean up the stuff and it's done. Why is it not focusing on? So, you've seen how I cut my hair, and um, it's, it saves you a lot of time, saves you a lot of money. I can do it like every week if I want, take a shower. So I hope this helped you out, and uh, if you've got any questions about this, just let me know. See you guys.